Hey there! If you're watching this video, chances are that you have finished four days of movement now. Mindful movement with the self-care movement challenge. And you may be wondering, what's next? How do I make this stick? Maybe you've been paying attention on my Instagram or you've tuned into some of the YouTube videos here to learn more about how mindful movement actually transmutes trauma and helps you to be more stable and capable and confident in your body and as the human being that you are in your life. But if you're anything like me, you're kind of like, almost waiting for the other shoe to drop and you're like, uh, but like, am I going to fall off the wagon or veer off track? And you know, if we're being realistic, we know that life isn't just like some linear path. It's this wild loop de doo roller coaster situation. So I am here to give you a gift to help you stay on track. And the gift that I am giving you today is the free, uh, ritual tracker, <laughs> free ritual tracker to just mark down exactly what you've been doing every day. You can print it out, stick it on your fridge, on your wall, and just to have a visual representation that you did something every single day. I started using this way back in like 2012, right when I just started coaching clients and I was kind of working on getting into a regular movement routine with myself still because I I had done the weight loss, I had started, I'd become a personal trainer, I was in my own regime and I found that I was just kind of like falling off and I wasn't interested in doing a program anymore or just like being on all the time and I got into this mindset with myself that just a little bit every single day makes a difference, just a little bit. And so I started putting these little red dots. I bought these little red dot stickers and every time that I moved, did some movement and just stayed with my body and was present with myself in movement, no matter what it was for at least five minutes per day, I got to put a red dot on my calendar. And then at the end of the month, I tallied it up and my goal was more days than not. That's just the goal. And for me, that took the pressure off. That kept it really super duper simple and it kept me showing up. And I didn't know that it also kept me present in my body, it helped me build this awareness and this relationship with myself. And it helped me to also build a foundation of movement that also really aids and helps in injury prevention. So it's like all of these double whammies. And I really sincerely hope that you can find just as much enjoyment or fulfillment with this. So feel free to print out this free daily tracker that I've created. I actually created it many years ago and used to share it with clients. Sometimes I still even orbit back to it when I really feel like I'm off track and I just want to have a visual representation of every little thing that I'm doing or being able to put a sticker. I love the old school style sticker. <laughs> uh, but just remember, you know, when we were kids and we earned stickers, it was almost like this feeling of conditional love. But So be gentle with yourself as you are moving into this new space and encouraging yourself to move every single day. Remember that this isn't conditional, that your worth isn't d determined whether you move your body or not, that you are still worthy of loving of to be loved at no matter what, no matter what. But this is just some motivation to help you show up, encouraging you to do something different, be with yourself, form a new habit. So the tiny little rule, more often than not, just show up five minutes a day. I hope this resonates and I hope it helps you on your path.